why you've decided to come here today, what this is all about. Okay, well we're reconstructing the inner circle of the Henge. And according to the archaeological reports, um, orig originally this would have been 62 ash posts. These are two by two slating mats. I'm running out of breath from doing this. But um, yeah, originally it would have been intertwined with hazel and inside that then stuck in uh, roses. We won't be doing that today. We're just going to get this up so we can get a visual idea of what a reconstruction could look like, dimension wise, uh, in 3D, not on computer. <laughs> And this would have been quite a, quite a, a large uh, astronomical, astronomical observatory. Yeah, well this centre here, this was a 8 metres, um, uh, sorry, 16 metres diameter. Uh, I'll have to ask someone else for the outside because I can't remember. But um, it would have been uh, the circumference of that uh, round part of the field all the way across, if we go this way, across the motorway and to the other side. And this is the N3 motorway. N3, yeah. And the um, contractor site, site Ferrovial were aware of the archaeology, of the archaeological, yes, and the government were aware of this. Um, I, I believe they were informed of this archaeological Well, they um, actually site. missed it. It's the size of three football pitches, and they actually missed it in the geophysics. So they didn't uh, really know it was here until they actually dug into it. But uh, Dick Roach, who was the Minister for the Environment at the time, signed off on it uh, so that it would be uh, preserved by record. In other words, uh, they recorded what was here and continued with the motorway. So basically that is uh, a bit of paperwork and then demolition. Yes, of a 4,000 year old astronomical henge. I'm happy to see it up um, with everybody, uh, the participation, the community spirit to get this together is amazing. Uh, I like that teamwork, you know. Um, you know, people's heart are in the right place by uh, putting these structures together and really appreciate it. It gives me a new sense of life.